In December, I shared about gifts that aren't wrapped in fancy paper with ribbons and bows. They're compassionate gifts, not reserved for special occasions, but given whenever a need is sensed. Mark's gospel tells us about one such gift. Jesus was teaching in Capernaum and had attracted a crowd so large that there was no room left in the house and very little room outside. Four men were carrying their paralyzed friend to Jesus so he could be healed. But they were blocked until they put their faith in action, climbed onto the roof, and literally tore it apart. They believed if they could get their friend's need into Jesus' presence, that would be enough. Their faith was bigger than their obstacle and soon the paralytic was not only healed, but forgiven because of a friend's faith. Every day at Teen Challenge, I see evidence of the power of a friend's faith. Sometimes it takes the form of a grandmother's prayer or a persistent friend who won't give up to get someone into the presence of the one who is able to meet their need. Each of us has this gift to give if we would only see the friend in need. With new life this week, I'm Ron Brown.